Next, we're going to walk through the process of opening on the DS200 Precinct scanner. The first thing you're going to need to open the poles is a set of keys. These keys include a flat silver key and a black and silver barrel key. Let's get the unit plugged in before we do anything else. On the back of the DS200, you'll see a small gray door. Use your flat silver key to unlock the door and remove the power cord. Plug the power cord into a wall outlet. Next, let's open the unit itself. Unlatch the lid. Use your silver flat key to unlock the lid. And open the lid fully. Next, we're going to open the screen. To open the screen, take your black and silver barrel key, unlock the screen, and simply lift the screen. When the screen is lifted, you will hear the unit automatically power on. So once the unit powers on and boots up, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. Before that, a configuration report will print. On this screen, you can see your polling place location. You can also see your public count number and important election information. The unit is telling us now that the voting device is ready for the poll to be open. It shows us that the election definition is found and that it is plugged into electricity. We have two options, don't open, turn off, or open polls. So to open the polls, we will press open poll. When we do that, an additional tape will begin to print. This will be our zero totals report. This will be the report that we use to verify that each one of the races and each candidate in those races has zero totals cast before opening the polls. Once the zero tape finishes printing, be sure to have each inspector, clerk, or watcher sign the tape where appropriate. After everyone who's required to sign signs the tape, we're going to roll it up and we're going to tuck it safely beside the machine. Be sure do not remove the tape until the end of the day. To continue going through the process of opening the polls, we're going to choose go to voting mode at the bottom of the screen. When we do that, the next screen appears. It says, welcome, please insert your ballot. The DS200 is now ready for voting. The last thing that we're gonna do before we allow voters to cast a ballot on the DS200 is we're gonna check the emergency bin and the ballot bin at the bottom to make sure that no ballots are included in the ballot bin. We take our flat silver key Unlock the main ballot bin, open the door, verify that there are no ballots. We'll do the same thing with the emergency bin. Open the door, check to ensure that there are no ballots, close and lock the door. Always ensure that the protective flap is up so that no ballots can be inserted. At this point, Voters are ready to cast their ballots on the DS200. To cast a ballot on the DS200, voter takes their marked ballot, insert the ballot in the bottom slot. The unit says scanning ballot, please wait. Then we heard the ballot drop down into the ballot box. An indication comes up that says thank you for voting, your ballot has been cast. The voter can return their privacy sleeve if they received one and receive a sticker and they're all done. As each voter casts their ballot on the DS200, the public count here at the top will increase by one each time. In some cases, 
a voter may make a mistake and mark a vote for one race with two selections. When they do so and they take their ballot to the DS200 and insert it as indicated, the unit will scan the ballot, but it will show us that you filled in too many ovals in one contest. These votes will not count. The voter has two options. They can return the ballot or they can cast the ballot. If we press return, the ballot will be returned to the voter and the voter can make corrections as needed. If a voter makes an error on a ballot and they bring it to you and want a to complete a new ballot, make sure you take possession of that ballot, spoil it by tearing a corner off of it, and place it in the spoiled ballot envelope before you issue a new ballot to that voter. If we had chosen cast, the ballot would have been cast as recorded and dropped down into the ballot box. Like an overvoted ballot, some voters may make no selections on their ballot. When they go to the DS200, insert it into the unit, the unit will scan the ballot, but it will clearly show us that we have inserted a blank ballot and that no votes have been cast. In this case, we can either cast a blank ballot or we can return the ballot. When we press return, the ballot will be returned to the voter and the voter can mark it accordingly if they need to. In the unlikely event that a machine can't be used, for a power outage or some other similar situation, we want to make sure that voters can continue to cast their ballot throughout the day. In that case, we use the emergency bin here on the ballot box. To use the emergency bin, we'll take our flat silver key, we'll unlock and open the door, and we'll pull down the emergency security flap. We'll secure and lock the door back and now voters have a safe place that they can securely store their ballots until the unit is operable again. So once the unit is operable again and ballots can be scanned into it, we need to make sure that we secure the emergency bin once again. To do that, we unlock, open the emergency bin, and we pull the flap up close and lock the door, and now ballots can't be cast into the emergency bin, voters can be directed again to insert their ballots into the DS200 unit. If we had a situation where we needed to use the emergency bin during the day, we want to make sure that those ballots that were inserted into the emergency bin get tabulated and cast just like the rest of the ballots that were cast during the day. So, after the polls close, but before we go through the closing process on the DS200 itself, we need to extract those ballots. And to do so, we open the emergency bin, we pull out any ballots that were inserted, we scan them into the DS200 before we close out and tabulate our results. Remember that any poll watchers or anyone present within the precinct can watch that process being done during the closing process. It's seven o'clock and the polls are closed and all voters who are in line have already cast their ballots. Let's go through the process now of closing down the DS200. We're gonna take our keys, the same keys that we used to open the unit. We're gonna take our barrel key and we're gonna open the security door here on the side of the unit. When the security door is open, there are two buttons that appear. The first button is the power button. The second button is the close polls button. To close polls, we're going to choose the close poll button. When we do that, this screen will appear. It tells us you have chosen to close the poll for this voting device. To return to voting mode now, press don't close. Keep voting. To continue closing the poll, press close poll. To close the poll, we'll choose the close poll button. The polls are now closing on the unit. At this point, our results reports will begin printing. Once printing is complete, 
and all the required results tapes have been printed by the unit, make sure that when you remove the tape, that all workers required to sign the results tape do so appropriately. The tapes will go in their assigned envelopes during the closing process. The unit now tells us that this voting device has been successfully closed. At this point, we will close the security door and we will choose finished, turn off. When we do so, the DS200 will begin to power down. After the unit has completely powered down and there are no more lights lit up within the security panel, remove the thumb drive. The thumb drive will be taken to envelope number 10, put into that envelope with the results tapes. The last thing that we'll do before closing down the unit is to remove all the ballots that have been cast during the day. So we take our flat silver key, unlock and open the ballot bin door and remove all ballots included. To lock the unit up for security, we'll close the screen, lock it with our barrel key, close and latch the lid, and lock it with our silver key. When we turn the unit around, we will unplug it. We'll tuck the power cord back into the security door in the back, close and lock with the silver key. The DS200 is now completely closed.